At that time, Abijah, the son of Jeroboam, became sick. Jeroboam said to his wife, Please get up and disguise yourself so that you won't be recognized as Jeroboam's wife. Go to Shiloh. Behold, Ahijah the prophet is there, who said that I would be king over this people. Take with you ten loaves of bread, some cakes, and a jar of honey, and go to him. He will tell you what will become of the child. Jeroboam's wife did so, and arose, and went to Shiloh, and came to Ahijah's house. Now Ahijah could not see, for his eyes were set by reason of his age. Yahweh said to Ahijah, Behold, Jeroboam's wife is coming to inquire of you concerning her son, for he is sick. Tell her such and such, for it will be when she comes in that she will pretend to be another woman. So when Ahijah heard the sound of her feet as she came in at the door, he said, Come in, Jeroboam's wife. Why do you pretend to be another? For I am sent to you with heavy news. Go tell Jeroboam, Yahweh the God of Israel says, Because I exalted you from among the people, and made you prince over my people Israel, and tore the kingdom away from David's house, and gave it to you, and yet you have not been as my servant David, who kept my commandments, and who followed me with all his heart, to do that only which was right in my eyes, but have done evil above all who were before you, and have gone and made for yourself other gods, molten images, to provoke me to anger, and have cast me behind your back. Therefore, behold, I will bring evil on the house of Jeroboam, and will cut off from Jeroboam everyone who urinates on a wall, he who is shut up and he who is left at large in Israel, and will utterly sweep away the house of Jeroboam, as a man sweeps away dung until it is all gone. The dogs will eat he who belongs to Jeroboam, who dies in the city, and the birds of the sky will eat he who dies in the field, for Yahweh has spoken it. Arise, therefore, and go to your house. When your feet enter into the city, the child will die. All Israel will mourn for him and bury him, for he only of Jeroboam will come to the grave, because in him there is found some good thing toward Yahweh, the God of Israel, in the house of Jeroboam. Moreover, Yahweh will raise up a king for himself over Israel, who will cut off the house of Jeroboam. This is the day. What even now? For Yahweh will strike Israel as a reed is shaken in the water, and he will root up Israel out of this good land which he gave to their fathers, and will scatter them beyond the river, because they have made their Asherah poles, provoking Yahweh to anger. He will give Israel up because of the sins of Jeroboam, which he has sinned, and which he has made Israel to sin.